Okay. For the difference between the discovery and request package or message, it's then the discover. The method type is said discover, the lane this one, the ACP discover slash one. And the request, it's a message request lane, the ACP request three. So that's the only difference I can see between these two. And so we write it down here for number four. And for number five, what's the value of the transaction ID in each of the first four? Discover, offer, request, act, message. And what the value of the transaction ID in the second? Request slash act, send the message, the ACP. What the parent of the transit, you know, the transaction ID field. We'll get to, we'll get to that in a bit. Here it is. Well, I forgot to mention in that in discovery, discover and request. In the discover, you'll see that the length, the method type is discovered, the length is one, the ACP discovered. And what I'm seeing here has all configuration. Run the request. Has the method type of request, length one, the request three. It also has a client identifier. Now you could name, say the method type, you could say that each of the method type has different acronym or the length of the packet or the DACP of the request. No, no the DACP, um, how many there is there? But tell you soon, I figured, I said that the DACP P in discovery has an auto configuration where the request has a client and identify it, which I wrote down here. All right, and for the value of the transaction ID in either the first one, and one the value of the second. All right, and the purpose. All right, so let's go to discover. And this ID config. Let's go up a bit. Transaction ID. For this guy with this one, that transaction ID. Offer. As we see an offer, there it is. Now let's look in request. Mm -hmm. All right. And the act. So we put right there. All right. Uh, we'll write it in the, the second. So hold up. Okay. For this government, this is the transaction ID that you see here in blue. See what X three A five D F seven D nine. Now for the offer, is zero X three E five E zero C E three. That is ID. And now let's look for the request. Hmm. Now for the request. That would be. Let's see if I can have this one. Zero X two five seven E five five A three. So let me write that down. Uh, seems I'm having mouth problems. Uh, 
There we go. E. E. What by? E. A three. S. And for the act, send the form. Discover. Discover other requests and act. But you can also, if you don't want to remember now, this might be being tricky because I'm saying, discover request, no, discover other request and that, you're gonna get a headache. So remember, try to remember it. There's an acronym for it to, um, keep your brain, uh, thinking about this while you're doing that DACP. And that would be Dora, yes, like the um, Nickelodeon cartoon show, Dora the Explorer. So, if you remember what Dora means, let's start with D. D means discover. O means offer. R means request. A means act. Therefore, you'll find out the transaction ID in the, when doing, working on the ACP. Now, let's look on act. And act. Ooh. Is give us. Let's try with. Let's try this one. See what X three A five D F seven D nine. So then we write that down. Okay, and so far, we need to find the second set of the value of the transaction ID of request and that, of the ACP. And what the parent transaction ID field, and I already wrote down the purpose of the transaction ID field, is to allow the whole to differentiate which request being asked by the user or being made by the user, like say, I'm asking for a couple of directions to get to a specific location. And then somebody helps me to go to which location I can go. That being said, it's like a, a fast food restaurant chain, if you want a similar example. One customer asks for a hamburger, another one asks one for a french fry. Basically, while doing track, the, um, the ACP, you could think of it like that, like a fast food chain system. Now, that's why the second set. Now, for act and request. Is the first and we could combine the same number. is in here for the service. And for add, let's see. Add. We already got do the X. So let's try this act, which then will be in, in
this look. And then we finish part one. We have those part two and part three, part four later. <clears throat> All right. So now we answer question six. But before we do that, let me explain. So the, the four diagram for discover other request of that. Now let's look at discover. It begins at zero point zero zero two five five. Every, it seemed like all from the discover to the act, to the offer act release, they all end, not release request, I mean, they all end with 255. And the source IP address, like for the discover, is zero two five five. The offer is one nine two one six eight point one 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 two two five 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 two. The request is the, the same in this color. Zero point zero point zero point zero point zero two two five five point two five five point two five five point two, and the act. Hmm. It starts with not one nine two point one six eight point one point one two five five point two five five point two four five point two. As you see in here. All right. And remember the acronym DORA, like for discover request and act. And you see in this picture below, so that you remember the acronym when you're working with the. Um, DACP. Alright. We'll answer question 7 later a bit. Alright, question 7. What's the IP address of your DACP, sir? Alright. I already have it open. It's our DACP, sir, that we, they see on the screen. It's 192.168.1.1. So we write that down. Wrong one. One nine two point one six eight point one point one Yes, like this. And then in part three we'll be doing question eight to fourteen, I believe. 